YouTube, what it do? Welcome back to the channel, man. SSP Engines. On today's episode of 1-800, we got power, man. We're going to be working on a 1983 Buick Regal. Now, I know a lot of y'all been hitting me up saying, yo, man, what a video is it? We want to see some burnouts. We want to see the motor drops. Um, we want to see them things get sideways. Don't worry. I got you. We back in full effect, man. So, it's obviously, it's been a minute. You know what I'm saying? I done cut the braids out. I'm trying to get some waves going. Don't mind the grades, man. But we finna get this thing going, man. So, let's dig in. Peekaboo, we see you. Y'all see it, man. Big block. Stuffed all the way in. We got that thing painted Chevy Orange. We got the AC delete plate installed. Um, we still got some cleaning to do or dirt and grime, but don't mind that. Because it's show and shine. We got the big block sitting over in here, man. And I'm just giving y'all a recap on what we got going on. So, with this engine right here, a lot of people have been hitting me up and crying about pricing and motors and stuff like that. So I have a lot of people that say, hey man, I want to get an engine built. What will it take? What will it cost? And the main question that they want to know is, will they be able to drive it? The answer is yes, yes, and yes. If you have a pump gas bill built by SSP engines, you will be able to drive it anywhere in the United States of America. So I just want to put this out there. I have a lot of people say they want a motor built, they want 500 horsepower, 600 horsepower, and they want to be able to drive it daily. This engine right here is going to be a prime example of me showing you what it is and what it can do. So this particular build, the customer said, he just want to be able to ride. I said, okay, what you mean by ride? Because my ride and your ride is two different, two different types of rides. So what kind of ride you talking about? He said, hey man, I just want to be able to get on it when I want to and just ride. So with that being said, I'm going to show y'all what a I just want to ride motor pull light. So as y'all can see, y'all remember this is the engine that I crunk up on the stand. And slot Chevy, pump gas, iron headed motor. Um, makes We're not even going to say the horsepower numbers on here, but with me doing combinations in the past, this motor should crank out about 580 horsepower, all on 93 pump gas. It's got a 400 uh, transmission behind it, a 10 inch converter, and I'm not sure exactly what's in the rear. I think the customer said he had a 373 in it already, but won't be 100% sure until I get everything hooked up. But I just wanna show y'all, this motor right here was not meant to be a race motor. It is meant to go get groceries, pick the kids up from school, and pick uh, grandma up from the nursing home. So y'all stay tuned, man. We finna get this thing hooked up, and we are gonna let y'all see what she do when we got oil pressure. We finna go over all the vitals, make sure everything good, check all the fluids, top everything off, transmission fluid, coolant, Check the belts, make sure they're good and tight. Power steering fluid. Uh, fans coming on. Y'all don't know, man. Uh, went up under this thing and it already had a trans in it when it came to me. It's got a drive shaft in it, but I think we're going to recommend to the customer that we upgrade it because that thing looked like a number two pencil. But we're going to bump it off one time. Make sure everything reading good. Uh-oh, got fan pressure. Uh-oh. Oh, so. y'all right, i gotta cut this thing off two reasons for one the gas is so old this thing smells terrible about to fall out of here so i'm gonna check the tranny fluid 
pull it out the shop, let the exhaust end go out. I'm gonna get some fresh 93 in it. And as you guys can see, four tires are already on the ground. So you know it's finna go down. We're gonna see what this thing do, man. Bump it through the gears, make sure she's she shifting smooth. And then we finna show y'all what she do, man. The SAP way. Big block. Oh, Regal. Y'all stay tuned, lay around, man. She coming all the way together. When you leave the motor shop, it's the interior shop, then the paint shop. You say you're gonna put some wheels on it. I think you say you're going with 24. But that's it, man. Let's pull this thing out. Do motor in here. The hood won't close all the way, so I'm gonna have to take the hood also. I'm just gonna bag it out to make sure she's going through all the hills. And I'm gonna pull it back in and take the hood off. And then we're gonna see what she can really do. So once again, this is the true definition of a street car. I get a lot of people hit me up, you know, inquiring about they don't want to race, they just want to build a regular car that they can ride in and slide in. And as y'all can see, we definitely riding. Look at the vital signs. They looking perfect. And at any time we want to slide, sliding so like i said on this build the customer he did not want to race he just said he wanted to be able to drive his car and this is what you get over here at ssp man nice street car can drive anywhere you want to go it may have the power to race but we ain't racing this car but when we pull up to the car show when we exit the building y'all gonna know ssp is there man so with further ado i would say this car right here is ssp approved Time to stab it. Pollen and 
tree sap off from where it been sitting. <clears throat> Just a little recap, man. Y'all see it, stuff tucked all the way in. Nothing major, man. Big block, pump gas, 93. Hydraulic roller, mechanical fuel pump, V-belt, HEI distributor, double pump carburetor, 400 transmission. It is what it is, man. Anything else y'all want to know about a build like this, man, don't hesitate to hit me up in the comments. Uh, check out my phone number. So if you got any questions about how it's set up, how it's running, how it's running, y'all seen we turned plenty of RPMs, belt still intact. No squeaking, they both still tight. We don't have MSD, a lot of people think they need it, but naturally aspirated man pump gas cars, they do not need it. If you wanna buy it, I'm not telling you not to buy it, but when you come to me, I'm gonna tell you get the parts that's needed to get the job done, y'all see it stuffed in. Don't worry about this right here, we are gonna clean all this up later. We got other plans, he's bringing the car back to me um, for a paint job, so. All the way, we're gonna do it all the way, man. From the rooting to the tooting, from the flow up. But that's you. To the next one. SSP, baby.